what is up everyone welcome back to some more red dead we got some fun missions that i'm excited to go into so let's just jump right into it okay you ready arthur i'm ready so let's just get into it um where are we going oh we're over here <laughs> we are going to do sadie's mission and then we're gonna go back to charles <laughs> Because he's sitting over there waiting for me. So I I'm going to go visit him. <laughs> Let's get over there. Horsey, come on. It's time to go. Wake up. Walk. You ready? Bull walk. Idiot. Let's go. I am super excited for today. I have a new chair too, which is really nice. I am excited. My last chair was probably ruining my back. That's right. You know it. <laughs> you know it. Okay. How you been keeping, Hosea? Good. But nearly got myself lynched a couple of days ago. How did that happen? <laughs> I had been watching this house in town. Rich family lives there. Mm -hmm. I became convinced as you do that Room the place was full want, of loot. Of course. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh. <laughs> it starts to call you that thing in your stomach. Take me. Rob yeah. <laughs> I want to be in your pocket. <laughs> Silver, gold, all the good things in existence. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I'm watching the house for a few hours and it's as quiet as a grave. I become convinced it's empty. I ask around, uh, people ain't been seen. So, for some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just walk right in. <laughs> right into a wake for their dead Uncle McCarby. No. Oh, yes. Oh, what'd you do? I froze. Then, uh... Then I, I saw his name, and I became McCarby's best friend <laughs> they never knew about. <laughs> but somehow I winged it <laughs> and let them lead me into being McCarby's former gold prospecting friend from back in 76. By the end of the evening, we were laughing together and crying. It was very sad. He was a lovely man, old McCarby. <laughs> but you still robbed them, huh? You heartless bastard. Oh, of course man. I did. <laughs> I robbed the priest, but not the family. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit, Arthur? It's <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> hey, what up, Javier? Javier? What you doing? Is he just Any eating? new leads? I'm working on it. <laughs> You're a pair of old fools. What? <laughs> Who is he saying that to? I don't even know. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Let's go talk to Sadie. It's gonna be dark though. Kind of wanna wait until morning. I hate doing missions in the dark. So let's go sleep. <laughs> don't worry. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna come. Back. I promise. I agree. Me too. I like that I get my own proper room now, which is nice. I like having a proper room. It's cute. Are they all asleep in here? I feel like I should have had that room. They should. Well, this one's way smaller, I guess. But I feel like it would give them more privacy. <laughs> Until morning. So they have the full day of light. To shine down on us <laughs> as we do our mission. Okay, let's. Hey, what Keep up? your eyes peeled, Marston. Good morning, Arthur. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. <laughs> anyway, I know I've ripped you about that enough. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, Sadie, it is finally. Time. I'm so excited. <laughs> She's like in the weirdest spot. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? 
How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yeah. <laughs> and now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, <laughs> seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. <laughs> Get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? <laughs> I My agree. Lord, if you're more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> if you're more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. <laughs> yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planet oh to me. Oh my God, this is gonna be such a bad me. idea. <laughs> Always. I know it's is gonna it just be just you and me. No, we'll need one more, I reckon. Save. I say Lenny, oh. not Micah. Well, Definitely not Micah. You want a massacre or a yeah. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. What the fuck? Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll Boys are coming! My carrot! Oh my god. I... I... Wait. I have no gold in this. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Like... Fuck all of you, honestly. Women and children, inside! Rescue you! Hold your ground! I knew it was gonna be a bad idea to come here. Mark, they need help. Get down there. So fucking I'm so angry right now. He wants me to go to the front desk. Okay. What's happening? Hold in here. Stay away from the window. I was not expecting that. It's been like three minutes. <laughs> I like Oh my god, oh my god. Come on, quick. Fuck all of you. Kieran. I liked him so much. The we need something in front of that door. I see, I see. Get those doors down quick. Good. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. How many bullets are that? Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey, I said it's every. Uh, uh. I don't know. I think. Never taken that old in. What? That's Mrs. Sandler. She's still out there. What? Cover me. Okay. Hey, we got some lady over here. Shady, Shady, I'm coming. Lady? Shady, don't stop. Whoops. Jesus, Shady. okay. She, she's got it. <laughs> she's got it. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the. Oh, 
It's just a bad position. I just got shot by like eight people because of that scene right then. Oh, this is so yeah, I knew it was gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> oh my god, I should have just not moved from the stupid, stupid fucking peril. I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset right now. <sighs> I don't have any bullets in this. Oh my god. Of course. I don't think I need to have a gun. <laughs> Even let me get a gun if I wanted a gun. Oh my god, stop taking this shit over there. You're letting them go away? We okay? Kill all of them. I think so. Every single one of them. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. No journal entry for him? Well, we have a lot of other journal entries that we can read, I guess. Saw Albert again, bored of fighting animals. He tried to fight gravity. Again, he somehow survived. I hope he will not retire now retire from a life even more idiotic and dangerous than mine. When are we eating, Pearson? Do you want it cooked right? Saw them weird boys again, with an equally weird names. This time they asked me to give them a beating. I cannot even try to understand them. Their husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd been taking with his subject matter. Whole thing descended into a brawl. Had to help him escape. Went to an art gallery. Seems fine. Fancy living ain't quite so different from life in the wilderness. Robbing stagecoaches. Was an exhibition of the painting by the artist. I met a couple times. Charles something. 
Okay. Oh, thanks, Bill. <laughs> Sorry, I got so distracted by that. French fella seemed he'd been doing more than painting his models. I'm just like sad now. Show in town dancing from that. That's that, yeah. I read that one. Took McDaniels in and watched him fry. Wasn't very nice. Wasn't very humane. The professor got upset and got involved before possibly killing himself with electricity. And I never got paid money. If they catch me, I pray they hang me. That chair is the work of the devil. I didn't know that. I didn't read that one. Salt out. Wait, I read that one. Oh. Hi, Bill. Hi. My lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor of St. Denis. Dutch got us involved, invited by old senior Bronte. And off we trooped, trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and printed to within an inch of our lives. Not wonderfully. Bronte did not mingle yeah. with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor deciding who to have killed for f his fun. Hey. Place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars, and clowns, but the thing was kind of fun. Managed to not get into too much trouble, and may have some business. Opportunities as a count of inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dress up as an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was an amazing which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. Dutch and Hosea seem to think this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to look into a bank into the bank and some other opportunities. We shall see. As long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them. For a while, maybe we shall be okay. Met that Evelyn Miller in the street. He remembered me from a party. Apparently my petty crime did not go entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down a little better. He introduced me to a couple of Indians, father and son. Son angry, father with the air of what exactly? Of something both impressive and frightening and kind of about him. A great man, defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. I need to stretch my legs. <sighs> oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. I'm just sad Morning. now. Like, I don't even know. I don't even want to do anything. I just want to go... Go to bed. <laughs> So, no more Kieran. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I liked oh, him no. from the beginning. There was me thinking we were a step ahead of the old Driscolls. Careful. I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. They ain't sure that's the right move. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Oh, my God. <laughs> the big fella. I gotta leave. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I don't want to do Dutch's mission yet, or Trelawney's. I want to do this one today, and I want to talk to Charles. I just need... I just need to get away.
And we know why he did, like, why it was him. It was because he was the one that betrayed them in a way. He was the one that was with them when we found him. He was the one, he was the easiest target for them. You know what? I could use you right now. Can I have a hug? Warner? Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. London. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> nope, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. <laughs> oh, he's the best. <laughs> oh, yep. I am so worried. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. Move. I'm a Where man. are you? Hey, Mister. Monsieur. Where are you? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was like, why does he sound next? Like he's next to me. Oh my god, I turn around. I'm stuck. It's awkward. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin's hey friend. Mister. I needed you. Hey, partner. Hi there, mister. You see this? <laughs> Lost your weight, country man? <laughs> These kids. You better Looking watch your cheapest. tongue. You, you gonna spend do something all day on board? that one? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, you better run. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Works every time. What? I don't want to shoot kids. Woo! Are these kids? attacked me what on earth what the game want me to do I don't even know what to do they, they attacked me we'll take this bunch wait here till we come back for the rest Is it safe now? Man! Put the gun away. I need... Before we do Charles' mission, I want to go to the barber and get a trim and not think about anything because I'm upset. Like, why? What? Why? I don't want to kill these guys. I feel horrible right now. I also wanted to just shoot him in the hand, and I didn't know that it pulled out my shotgun when I was <laughs> when I. Oh, that's a lot of. Things. How goes, partner? Hi. Nothing to see hey, here. Hey, hey, hey. What's your issue? You shouldn't take that. Can't let him treat you that way. <laughs> okay. They don't suspect a thing. Lose the scissors in your house. You Grab a seat. Let's get to work. On, no nice. <laughs> Let's first get rid of the uh, some of the facial hair, like right here. Now that okay. isn't half bad, huh? And Real then well. I also wanted to trim my Lay hair. Home. Thank you. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Much better. There we go. Well, I guess we're all done here. 
Hopefully it doesn't go back, grow back in like two seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay, fella. What's this? Charles? <laughs> my friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chantonnet, the painter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, He's in disguise. I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't Ar think that Arthur just willingly the starts looking at it. <laughs> they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So oppressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah... I feel I that. I know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! <laughs> I know those men! Oh no, he I definitely sees you. Quick, behind here! This is so suspicious. Where are we going? He is so looking at you. Don't look back. <laughs> we are away. Come now. Follow me. He is still looking over here. Shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Oh my god, yeah, I'm never going there. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey. We go through here. Fucking no. They're definitely coming. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Come on. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. So wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, <laughs> no. but no kinds of brilliance. Not so much. No kinds of dick. So hold in a friend. We go from there. Ah. You bet. Here off the farm? Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 Charles' missions never fail to make me laugh, which is why I wanted to do it. Hush, hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <sighs> bar shitting. Oh, she just laughed at stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. <laughs> That's a fact. The feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hey, <laughs> also love, true. <laughs> they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Use my impropriety. <laughs> a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is some. Look at you, pretty little thing. Whoa. Hello, boys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on <laughs> Shut up. Excuse me. 
I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. <laughs> we have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. But I'm gonna be sad to see you go. Where will Arthur get all his laughs from? <laughs> we made it. Let's go. Oh no 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 no! Wait, what? No, no, no. I got it. He's out here. Uh, more friends? I'll deal with him. I have a lot of friends. Oh shit! Oh god, what? Okay. Get him out of here. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Especially because this bitch is so freaking annoying. And it's so hard to dodge. Get him. How's he dodging? Oh my god. I'm so gonna die. I'm so bad at fist fights, I never do them. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that was stressful. I didn't think I was gonna live. You better hope this ship's leaving soon. Is this where we say goodbye? Oh. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. <laughs> if they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here's there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. <laughs> See you later. Well. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Crime reported. Fuck. How do I get out of this? I'm gonna die. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. I'm so gonna die. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> Run away! That's my horse. <laughs> Guys, stay behind me. Come on, you and me. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting to have a crime reporter at the end of that mission. Am I going to the right spot? I wasn't very off. I mean, that's pretty close. <laughs> I don't think it painted fuck. I hate that it does that sometimes. Um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty close though. What the fuck was that? Are you scared of like a rat? <laughs> what was my horse freaked out by? The post office has like a oh look at that. Oh. Cool. That's really fucking far. <laughs> I mean, I'll go there. <laughs> I do want to do this mission first, though. I might not play long today, just because after- I feel like whenever someone dies, I honestly need, like, a couple days to recoup. <laughs> like, mentally, or else I'm just, like, in a pissed-off mood. I'm just sad. I, I'm, like, angry. 
I get frustrated easy. Like, I'm just very emotional in general. One day I'm gonna like ride right off the ledge. <laughs> not even meaning to. <laughs> just because I'm looking up and not down. I'm like genuinely. I don't even know what to talk about because all I can think about is just hearing. Hey, what up? How you been? Oh, this is you came. Of course I we're did. Caring. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. <laughs> I kind of like him. <laughs> if you were quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Okay. I was quick enough. The one time I get to use the cinematic in this game. Hell yeah. How do you change the pictures? Oh, it does it automatically. Nice. Been in this one, haven't I? That you, Al? This is the one I stole the, the wagon. Hey, Tom. From. Picking up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Is he not gonna see me? Hope not. Nice. This is scary. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather go under the fence. I feel like this one's more stressful this way. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. Okay. Factory. Gotta make it all the way over there. I guess I should take some of these guys out, huh? Or not. Why'd he just get up like that? Jesus! Gave me a heart attack. He stood up so suddenly. We did. What? I didn't know. What? I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry that I killed him. I'm so discombobulated right now, man. Okay, no more killing. Don't worry. Even though we both know that they would shoot me on sight. <laughs> I thought I had to kill him because I had to go up the staircase. I was like, there's no way I'm going up that staircase without him noticing me. But I guess he wouldn't have noticed me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel horrible once again. <laughs> today I just feel bad. Like, that's my day today. Just feeling bad the whole time. <sighs> ah. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Oh? Beat him? <coughs> oh my Man god. Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? Come no. on. I need a file by the Leland or Just give it to me. Development Company. We don't have to worry about anything. Near I... I... Come on! Damn, Barry. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! Just give it to me. And no one has to die. Is this actually it? You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Okay. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Come on. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> I'm leaving. We hey, 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 hold it right there. Oh Open no. The hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. I knew this wasn't we'll gonna go so again. clean. It's hard to see right now. Run away! I don't want to kill all of you, but... Uh... <laughs> oh god. Did they still see me? <laughs> I'm coming! I can't. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> it's hard to follow someone when they're not moving. <laughs> he took so long. I was ahead of him, so I was unsure. Let's go, dude. I could never hit those shots. <laughs> guy doesn't even need me. We need I need to buy ammo and I keep forgetting to. Oh, that sign took the biggest bullet. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> that sign took the bullet in perfect time. Let's get out of here. Came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. <laughs> so you met Mr. Danbury? I did. Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. <laughs> Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Hey. Nice. I like him a lot. Where are you, horsey? There you are. It's so dark right now. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Let's see. Kill all the horseback. Oh, he killed one. <laughs> so I didn't count towards me. I mean, he didn't even need me. Did you see those shots that he hit? God damn. Okay, I really want to go to one of these post offices because they have like a weird letter thing that I've never seen in my life. And we also have to pay off a bounty. So, yep. two birds with one stone. Whoa. Was that the moon? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> so impressed by the game right now. Help me. Stranger. Help me. <gasps> it's you! Oh my god, I've missed you. I haven't seen help you in so me, long. Please, kind sir. Yes, I'm here. Let me help you. Let me help a blind man. Here. No problem at all. There you go. Look how look at I that honor thee, meter. <laughs> bethink yourself before taking possession of another man's horse. For not all will go willingly. Alright. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. So just don't steal another man's horse, okay. Inve investigating what? Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Okay. I can't tell you what you want to hear. What a, who uh, witnessed what? Murder? Who did I murder? Who did I kill? I killed no one right then. In what world? <laughs> I'm so confused. There's no one- who? Who? I don't know. Is, are they talking about like way back over there? <laughs> In that place? Probably. Maybe. Ooh, I have unopened mail, so that's what that is. Let's go see what my mail is. You got one chance. You get vicious with me again? It's not gonna end well for you. Glad to see you on the up and up. <laughs> That's a, a mood change. Receive mail. Invitation from Mayor Lemo. Le Le I'm so bad at <laughs> French names. <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to flip it. I meant to read it. May 1899, Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kind of functions, it's hard to keep track. I did notice, however, you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly, but just long Let's enough get you to- fixed up so you can be on your way. Excuse me. Just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my sp cold old world cynicism could work quite well together indulge me in a meeting at least come to the back of the Merrill residence any night you wish knock on the door and and ask and my assistant Jean Mark will let you in I hope to see you soon your newest friend Henry Lemo I don't trust you come now Can't and I don't really want to do it here all day. how's that sound <laughs> mayor residence any night that means we have to probably wait until nighttime for it to show up. That'd be my guess. If I... If I know anything. So, where, where'd that other mission go? There was a mission up here. Where the hell is it? I saw it. It was right, like, here. You can't fool me, game. Honestly, train's probably the fastest way to get there, so I'm just gonna... Ride behind it. <laughs> Convenient. Even though I don't think the, <laughs> the the people that conduct the train like it when I do that, but where is this taking me? Actually, it'd probably be best to be like that. You got this, horsey. I believe in you. Straight up the mountain. <laughs> Giving you the workout today. No more murders. No more nothing. I'm a good man. I'm almost having like full, full honor. <laughs> almost Zuko levels of honor. No jumping the horses, cause the old man told us not to, and I trust him with my life. Dead. 
damn. Yeah. I'm coming. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's a horse. Wait, why do I have my revolver? What happened to my freaking barrel? What the hell? Dude, I'm tired of not having weapons on me. <laughs> why does it put my the big weapons away? I always have to pull them out again. I wish they just default on at all times. Okay. I can only come so fast. You good? Señor, por favor, ayúdeme. Me duele. Me desangró. Damn. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina. Ya para qué? Excuse me. You gonna give it back? No puedo. Is he about to die? Yeah, he arrived. Felt nice. I tried to save him. You said, "Well." Oh, nobody wanted me. <laughs> Maybe I should have given in the whiskey. Well, my mom stopped in and she gave me a little tiara. <laughs> and now I am wearing a tiara <laughs> for the rest of today. <laughs> Which won't be too long, sadly. She, she gave it to me because a friend gave us this chair. And <laughs> this chair is so big. And it's like the throne is what they, <laughs> they keep calling it. And... <laughs> So now I have a crown to go with my throne. So bow down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, bow down, okay? Okay, well this is where I thought he would be. Oh not the thunderstorm. Not the thunderstorms. I literally hate thunderstorms. Oh god, give me the map. I'm just gonna camp out. Okay. <laughs> no thunderstorms. Not in my playthrough. <laughs> it's so loud and scary. Oh, it's still happening. Okay, sleep until morning. <laughs> 20, 20 hours. Is it here yet? I just don't think it's a thing anymore. It was here. But it's just gone now. Now I'm just sad. Now I just have these two. I guess I'll just save them for tomorrow. I guess this will just be a shorter episode. I'm just gonna leave it here. Well, that's the end of that one. I'm kind of like really sad now. I, I mean, we started that episode off with just with Kieran dying. So it's just been a lot. I liked Kieran so much because... I just, I just don't know. Like, I feel like him and Arthur had such good banter together. They would always argue, but they would always get along. And it's just... I always liked him from the beginning. Like, from the moment I saw him, I knew it. Because I knew he was the one that that uh, got slapped in the face <laughs> by Como Driscoll in the very, very beginning of the game. And I knew, like, he just didn't belong there. And I... I'm, I just wanted him to be part of our group. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I'm like trying so hard not to cry. <sighs> okay, but we're going to call it there. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Huge thanks to my patrons. Goodbye, everyone.